and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Grixis control. That's right. Let's go ahead and update this deck with Corset 2020 with a couple additions to the deck that can shore up some of the weaknesses that we talked about the last time that we played Grixis control in War of the Spark standard. Most notably, the one that I'm the one that I'm the most excited about is probably Graft Digger's Cage. Trying to beat Experimental Frenzy in Grixis is really, really tough. That card uh, was maybe the card um, that with Command the Dread Horde were maybe the two the cards that uh, gave me more losses than anything else. And Graft Digger's Cage shuts down Experimental Frenzy and kind of stops Command the Dread Horde, but not really. Uh, it does keep the creatures from entering the battlefield from the graveyard but it, it doesn't stop planeswalkers and uh that that's still going to be tough to stop the planeswalkers because you know like people can play command the dread horde and grab our good planeswalkers like nickel bolus and whatever planeswalkers they have also so it kind of stops that but that's a good addition there since we have this graft digger's cage to shut down frenzy then i don't think we need to play ugin anymore and we get to play chandra the brand new uh, planeswalker here from m20 that's looking really good so can't be countered against like the esper decks and you're you're just want gonna want a plus two that there and give them that emblem and everything i think it's it's pretty nice i think chandra works pretty well with nickel bolus also you know if you get to play a nickel bolus and untap and then get to slam chandra where nickel bolus can also you know has the loyalty abilities of the other planeswalkers so not only can Chandra plus two to give them an emblem, but then you can have the Nicol Bolas plus two and give them an emblem also, get closer to that minus eight. But um, so you can, you can potentially give them two emblems in one turn with these two cards. And so every upkeep, they take two damage. So that that's uh, something that could be pretty cool there. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, li I like those working together. I'm going to try a Mu Yan Ling. This is a new card. Not sure, you know, not sure how much we'll like it, but I want to go ahead and try it. I think this is a this is a very good defensive planeswalker against creature decks. Um, you know, ticks up to four loyalty right away, plus giving a creature minus two, minus zero. And you want to basically that's all you want to do with with Mu Yan Ling. You're not we're probably not going to minus three that often. It's all about ticking up slowing them down, making them put more creatures on the battlefield that you ritual of soda away, um, or Chandra minus three away, I guess also. But, you know, just trying to, she just tries to protect herself, tries tries to slow the game down, make let you get into the late game. If you ever get that minus eight, um, getting that emblem there is pretty crazy. Sure, we don't have that many islands. We have, what, nine islands? No, five islands? No, we have steam vents. Okay, yeah, I thought we had more. So we have eight. We have eight islands in here. Um, not a ton of islands, but still, you know, even if you have like one one land that just has tap draw a card, that's pretty nice. If you have two or three that have tap draw a card, that's even better. We're just going to try one out. Very good chance, not worth it, but, you know, we're, we're trying new stuff here. We're going to try this disfigure also. And there we go. Sideboard, I love me some Noxious Grasps, destroying any creature or planeswalker that's green or white. So we're talking anything from Wild Growth Walker to Hydroid Crasis to uh, Teferi to Nyssa to Tamiyo, any of those things. Destroy those all, gain a life. It's pretty great there. And Legion's End, if we're playing against any kind of token deck, um, also Wild Growth Walker, Hydroid Crasis, those kind of things, all the aggro decks. Uh, trying the, this out basically instead of moment of craving um, it's possible I don't have quite enough life gain possible I need a little bit more moment of craving enter the god eternals against a red and that me relying on graft Deer's cage for the most part isn't quite enough but we're gonna gonna kind of figure that out here all right so there we go um, let's get some grixis control happening here Got to go our profile. Tristani didn't help us out too much last time. Let's get new Chandra. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. Ooh. And in fact, let's change our sleeves. Let's get the new Chandra sleeves also. 
So yeah, we're playing the very, this is the very first day that Corset 2020 is online. And it's, it's, we're having problems here. A lot of people are having problems connecting with the servers. Um, we are connected, but we're having a lot of troubles with lag and everything. And, and so we're going to have to kind of fight through it here today. Hopefully tomorrow everything's better. All right, Grixis Control. Let's, let's see how this works. I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, here we go. Pretty good looking hand. Really like this discovery to help us hit the land drops. Just gotta I just gotta play slower. No, my Chandra and my lava coil. But the Chandra in particular. Phoenix deck, huh? Well, can I get that lava coil back now? <laughs> okay, good. Still just the one Phoenix. play Kefnet here because it doesn't die to Lava Coil. I could see my opponent wanting to play, you know, Lava Coil to be able to help out. Huh. Do I want to coil the Kefnet? Like if I attack? All right, so our Graft Digger's Cage is in our sideboard. will help keep these Phoenixes from coming back. We'll be able to get rid of like these, you know, these Ritual of Such. They're just dead cards. It's kind of unfortunate having two dead cards in hand right now. Yeah, there's a, a lot of hate cards for Phoenix in, in this set. So if I bedevil the Kefnet, then I don't get to hold up Negate. That's 
It's probably still worth it though. So we get to attack for A tier. Ooh, not even putting the Kefnet back in there. They must be struggling for the three instants and sorceries. We got a close one here. We're a little ahead, but that doesn't mean doesn't mean a ton. They they can have a really explosive turn here. Their deck's capable of it for sure. Oh man, every time I hit reveal, it's going to reveal on my side too. That's annoying. My opponent wanted to double block with the Phoenixes, that's why they didn't swing. But then being at six, they wanted to double block and kill Kefnet. Alright. Maybe I'm kind of off of the... I could be kind of off the always reveal game. I have to like click dismiss each time. Spell for Crackling Drake. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Put thoughtfulness before action. Dang. I guess that was that command deleted, I guess. <laughs> you can see what I draw before the video gets there. With it refreshing. Sloppy technique. I must train harder. Yeah, of course did did the set review. Yeah, did the set review on Thursday. It's up on the YouTube channel. Gosh, 
all these crackling drakes. Hmm. Really wish I could double spell, but I can't. Really wish the Narset last turn would have found the Bedevil, because we... That would have been good. We would have won. That was one. Well, no, Chandra can minus X and kill the Crackling Drake. So it's basically, do I want to have Chandra come down, kill the Crackling Drake, and then, then they kill Chandra, or just use the Bedevil? But the Chandra uses my mana a lot better. Yes, I, I could not let the Crackling Drake stay alive there. They have one Phoenix coming back right now. It's five that puts me down to 11. To meet my friends. Let's make some more room to fight in. <laughs> I think I just gotta clear all that stuff up. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't tick up and stay alive. If I if I would have ticked up Chandra, I died to just what was on the board. I had to either ritual of soot or play the Chandra. Wasn't a big difference between playing Ritual of Soda Chandra. Besides, the, the Chandra is basically Ritual of Soot plus gain three life because the three loyalty. Like they're going to get the Phoenix back, so killing the Phoenix doesn't doesn't matter. I'll try to come back for you. There's another calf net. Is this their third or fourth finale? It's their fourth finale. It's kind of hard to grind through four finales. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone Chandra minus two the Phoenix. Maybe I should have just done that and just exile the Phoenix. Instead of the minus three. Alright, that's lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. So they got they got two Phoenixes coming back here. I'll just just let y'all see it. Yeah, team. Two phoenixes, I block a cap net. Yeah, that was a good that was a good planeswalker animation, that wave. The wave of fire was pretty good.
And to the God Eternals kills Crackling Drake, and we're going to need to kill Crackling Drake. Get rid of that Elder Spell. Alright, what else do we want? I think I'm I think I'm between a Moo Yanling or or in a gate here. I guess I could play Rampage. I'll play Rampage actually. Why don't we plus Chandra? Because we were dead. Like we we're just dead to the cards they had. They were gonna be able to kill us if we plus Chandra. So plusing not ideal when it's going to kill us. All right, get to lead with the Ascanta. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot of good sideboard cards in M20. So exactly how to use the sideboard cards and you know like which ones to use all that kind of stuff takes takes some time for sure but yeah a lot of good sideboard cards with M20. Kefnets are really, really good against Grixis. For sure. Not liked that card. I'm gonna get this Narset down here to keep them from drawing I have a, a lot of cards a turn. Like I don't want to activate Narset because activating Narset means it dies to a Lightning Strike or you know like another Phoenix coming in. Charging Monstrosaur? Are you kidding me? How the heck do I beat that thing? I have reached my limit. Where did that thing come from? Gross. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. Utterly is the best way to destroy things. 
Now I don't know how I'm going to deal with the Kefnet. The Chandra was like my thing to deal with the Kefnet again. Oh, okay. Figured it out. Hope it's not too hot for you. Your I will return. All right, so they have one emblem. Boom, 20 turns. That's all we need. Yeah, Monster Sword is a, a good, solid card. They have one phoenix in the yard right now. Yeah, they have one phoenix in the yard right now. Mm. I kind of want to keep this Nicol Bolas, honestly. Yeah, let's just keep it. It doesn't flip my Ascanta. I don't know. Maybe I should just be plus two and giving them another emblem. Nah, getting rid of one of these things is good. Will be yeah, I need more cards. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Alright, what else you got over here? Kefnet, Ral, Strike and Opt. I'm going to get rid of the strike, make it harder for them to get back the phoenix. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? If they're just spending their whole turn to play a Kefnet, or spending their whole turn to play a Rao, I feel like that's pretty good for me, how I can start getting some more of these emblems out there. Something over strike. Okay, okay. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. It doesn't change the like, doesn't quite add another turn if I if I plus two here. I'm just gonna go with the plus one next turn. I can minus three the nickel bolus. Get rid of the land. So I can minus three the nickel bolus next turn, and then play you know play the new one. Kind of thing. All right. No, I emblems don't go away at all. Emblems are always there. Wait, so I can play this and Nickel Bolas? Certainly play Nickel Bolas. So yeah, I can play that and cry. I am a god once again. <laughs> Both 
Bye bye. All right, emblem. Hey, you got a nickel bullets emblem. I am omnipotent. Emblems. The past says I have just the trick for this. Yeah, emblems always stay. You can't get rid of emblems. Hey, what's up, Black Geppetto? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for that sub there. Sub number 16 today. All right, so we saw them have some really big creatures. Charging Monstrosaur. Definitely glad I kept the Angrass Rampage. So we saw them have Narset and Ral. Does that mean I want Elder Spell? Not really. No, this is good. I don't really like Nicobolus Ravager in this matchup. I'm kind of glad we never drew it. Them having all the lava coils. I want to draw the other threats again, not Nicobolus the Ravager. Yeah, you can you can keep giving your opponent more than one emblem with Chandra. We just had our opponent had four emblems that last game. Wait, what they discard? Oh, Steam Vents. Monstrosaur, Narset, Beacon Bolt. Well, we'll take the Narset and keep the land. Especially, it's a, the blue source lets us play our own Narset. No, that was a really good draw. That was a really good draw. Couldn't they wait a turn for that? <laughs> now I know eighty eight ways meditate and prepare. Please, I know, Sarah, it's very, very frustrating, but please don't curse. Appreciate that. Hone your prowess. Certainly hope we get to just keep drawing lands. I just don't. I don't want them to draw to draw it, you know, a spell off a of Kefnet and be able to reveal it. So they have another Kefnet coming still too. They're just chaining Kefnets. Will bend to my will. If my schemes have been foiled. All right, they're letting that Kefnet just die for good. No land, no land. Okay. What 
Would I rather give them an emblem or draw a card and make them exile something? Yeah, definitely draw a card and make them exile something. They don't have very many things to possibly exile. Alright, exile the bacon bolt. So we know they're drawing the Kefnet. So it's either Rampage plus Bolus or it's Chandra Exile. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Utterly is the best way to destroy things. Make them get rid of another resource. No, there goes the negate. Let your and there goes the big dinosaur. Crumble. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Alright, got there. Chandra was awesome. All right, one to know. GG's. This may be the last league we play tonight, honestly. You know, get ready. You know, I'll, I'll kind of get ready for doing the 12 hour stream tomorrow. But, like, how laggy this is and everything. It's kind of a beatdown. <laughs> you want to see six plus emblems? Well, we had we had four last game. We were going to have six if our opponent gave us another turn. But they, they conceded before we were going to get six. Hey, what's up, Riot Vale? Thanks for that resub there. Yeah, little Chandra. Yeah, definitely a consideration. The they usually do a pretty decent job of of pressuring the planeswalkers. Like though, with uh, Phoenix and um, Phoenix and lightning strikes and stuff like that. But yeah, you're not playing little Chandra till later because yeah, you want to like rebuy lava coil and stuff. Um, yeah, definitely consideration. Decided you know not not moving in that direction, but wouldn't have hated it. Yeah, I like an achievements. The wind whispers secrets. All you have to do is listen. The sky is my domain. So we don't really want to minus <laughs> Moo because of the shock. There's Narset, Mu, Nicobolus, and Chandra. I cannot bear to in the main deck. There's there's this Nicobolus that can flip into a planeswalker as well, and then the sideboard has the smaller three mana Chandra. As far as all the planeswalkers in the deck. Can 
contentious plan. Why not remove their only playable? Because this... Sure, they can play the 1-3, but the 1-3 doesn't do anything. Where the 6-mana Chandra does stuff. Even even though it's forever to, to play. Hey, Hawkeye. Okay. The next scratch is... There you go, Echo. You got back in. Um, counter a creature or planeswalker spell. Exile it. Scry one. Okay. I did the Los Angeles one, Starman. All right, so we got blue red control over here. I don't know if they're Phoenix or not. It doesn't seem like it. it seems like they're just like kind of a control deck with how they had the different planeswalker or sorry sorry they had the different counter spells and everything didn't see a ton of their deck though They're probably a crackling Drake deck. So I'll enter the God Eternals in. We'll leave one elder elder spell in in case they had a lot of planeswalkers. I don't know. We'll just kind of see what happens here. We didn't see any black. It was just blue red, from all we saw. But they. But that doesn't mean they're not a Grixis deck. They could be a Grixis deck. Yeah. The Aura Magic Cards is just amazing. Yeah, our opponent mulligan to four last game. Like they they didn't they didn't really get to do anything. So do they shock in for spell pierce? Nope. So they let me go first? I just realized that. Yeah, sure can, King J. I'll find that for you real quick. Here you go.
Okay. Angels and Safari, yeah. Yeah, it just seems kind of tough to play it to actually to actually to have it work. Um, as far as we know, London mulliganing will be the mulligan rule. I mean, it's the mulligan rule for the foreseeable future. Like it, it may never change from from that mulligan rule. To be honest, it, it's not like a temporary thing. Karn's Temporal Sundering Suite. Decided to take that card. It's six mana to take another turn, but they had to have a legendary creature or planeswalker in play. But still just taking it right now, just in case. Lightning Strikes, you know. Whatever. It could, it could team up with another removal spell, like another burn spell to take down Nicol Bolas, but we still have the Ascanta, so we're still good to go there. Janini, thanks so much for that continued support. Hope you had a good weekend and everything. Yes, the change is official. Yep. I don't know where like the announcement thing is about that because, you know, finding stuff on Wizards' website is basically impossible. But yeah, it's it's official. That's the rule for all formats in Magic now. Starting with, basically starting today, starting with this set. No, you have to have the, no, you can't mission briefing a legendary spell without the legendary creature or planeswalker. You, you can't, there's no way to cast these things, you know, in in any in any sense without the legendary creature or planeswalker. So the big question is whether or not I flip Nicol Bolas. It may be better just to not flip, considering I have the Ascanta going. But I I feel like we're pretty good at winning this, kind of either way. And I want to flip because. Nickel Bowls, the Arisen is sweet. Is Let's draw more cards. Is it, you never know. They could top deck a Lava Coil at any time and kill that Nickel Bolas. We'd still have the Escanta, though, so even if, in that scenario, it's not like we're doing bad or anything. Get that 1-1 one, one counter on there. Now we got a 2-4. My geniuses are matched. Your spark will be mine. All the cosmos are mine to control. Well, drawing five cards a turn is pretty good. The Haster. You're starting to annoy me. Hmm. I know what must be done. Do I actually like not have anything to deal with this yet? <laughs> okay, dispersal. All right, found something.
Took us a little bit to get there. But we got there. I'm gonna hover over well. Let's see. Yeah, so Risen's at eleven loyalty. Dragon God's at eight loyalty. Uh it's minus twelve is the ultimate. All right, victory. All right, two and oh. Let's go three more matches. Go on, Arena, you can do it. You can stop lagging and fight through three more matches. You can do it, Arena. Okay. Good hand. I'm liking this deck, though. This deck's feeling pretty good. Yeah, I, I am too scared to reset. Yeah. The client needs, like, a reset or, or something. I'm too scared, though. With all the people locked out right now. I feel like if I reset, I'll be locked out. We can try it after this league though. Cause I don't know if we would want to play another league like this, so we could try it, see if it see if we get it back and see if it's working and everything. Alright, another blue red deck. So if we're just playing against all blue red decks today. Just a mono blue red. Yeah, that's that's what I did originally, QQ. So if I play Kefnet next turn, they get to bounce Kefnet efficiently. I'll play the Narset so that we can minus, and then if they want to bounce the Narset, that's cool. Shock, of course, doesn't kill Narset from here. And Narset just replaces herself. That's also convenient. Hmm, not bouncing the Narset. We'll see if they bounce the Nicol Bolas. I will remake the multiverse in my image. Did you eons ago? Hmm. So they got rid of the shock. Put thoughtfulness before action. It's all minus. Hmm. 
All right, we got Niv Mizzet. Rao combo. Bring in the Duresses, the Negates, the Chandra. I think that's about it. Cut these ritual suit suits. And the Moo. I guess Lava Coil may not do very much for us. Hmm. I gotta be a Crackling Drake deck too, right? I'll just keep the Lava Coils. I'm about to paw ruin this man's career. <laughs> Poor Niv Mizzet, the Paroon. We definitely Paroon'd that Niv Mizzet, that's for sure. You're welcome, Black Sauce Noodles. All right, let's go and Thought Erasure for before our Escanta, see if there's a counter spell. Double Kefnet. Double Kefnet's going to be kind of rough. Double Kefnet's going to be a little rough. Seen a lot of Kefnets in this league. Dang. No land? Yay. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of uh, multicolor creatures from M20 that I liked. Absolutely. There's a lot of them that are good. I like the Corpse Knight. Hey, Apollo. Thanks for so much for that sub. Let's get some hype votes in the chat for our new sub. Sub number 19 on the day. Thank you so much, Apollo. The blue-green elemental card, like Royal Rumble or something like that. That card's really good. Yep, Starman. It does, it's the same. So I wonder I wonder if they'll put the Kefnet back. Well, that was quick. Ugh. Their hand's very good.
Starman! Keeping that hype going. Sub number 20 on the day. That's two sub goals towards our next 12 hour stream. Uh, thanks, Apollo. Saying that I usually just lurk on YouTube because it's easier with my work schedule, but I had a chance to get on Twitch today. Thanks for all the fun standard decks. Well, you're welcome, Apollo. Thanks Thanks for the sub. Yeah, they, they changed how these decks look. So it's only 47 cards, but it looks like, you know, it looks like a million, but it's only 47 left. Hmm. Definitely hoping for the my land where I could flip. I have just the trick for this. Oh, are you kidding me? Hmm. Ooh, ignoring the Narset. Meditate and prepare. This is risky here. If they draw the land and play the the Perun, I'm going to need to draw a land to be able to flip Bolas. Alright, well that gets rid of the other Kefnet though. So that's very good. So well, the Kefnets are gone now. So that's very good. Overwhelming. So I could try to go for the win next turn by just attacking them for four. Then, of course, they get the Narset trigger and just going to slow down a little bit. Yeah, we good. We good. Hey, Paul. All right, so I think what we've learned is our Grixis deck is good against blue-red piles. All right, we're good against blue-red piles. And we are three wins and zero losses. Ugh. Niv is it's your favorite your favorite card? Stream Decker is wrong. Thank you. It should be correct now. Surprise nobody told me that that Stream Decker was wrong before. Yeah, the Legion's ends in the sideboard for uh like for tokens 
such as like the scape shift combo. Um, also, just all the aggro decks. Their play creatures that cost two or less. Also, Wild Growth Walker and Hydroid Crisis decks. Exile those things. Very efficient against all those cards, especially Crisis. You know, exiles the Crisis plus, you know, they re reveal their hand and exile all the Crisis in their hands. So they can't just chain the Crisis together. There. The Chandra's in the sideboard for whenever, against like other control matchups, whenever the games get grindier. And I want a card that um, that can come in and be a Snapcaster Mage. Or just, you know, be able to make elementals and attack a bunch. I don't know. I guess I kill this thing. gonna pass Lord what does the GIB mean Lord, are you saying that you would like to be a mod? Is that what you're saying? Those who cannot proceed beyond keep an open mind. Ooh. That Citadel is going to be rough. Oh. GIB is give. Oh. Wow, not even attacking the Narset. Alright. If y'all haven't seen the Chandra wave yet, we had some people that missed the animation earlier. So don't want you to miss the animation. If Gotta you stand up enemy, get ready to meet and do the wave. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Put thoughtfulness before action. Hey, what's up, Rex? Happy Tuesday. Alright, emblem time. Or is it getting a little we want a Chandra warm? emblem. Gotta have a Nicol Bolas emblem. All, all the emblems. Emblem. Emblem. Like two bolus emblems, two Chandra emblems. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? No, emblems don't have color, no.
No, emblems emblems stay till the rest of the game. You can't get rid of emblems. Doesn't matter if the planeswalkers leave. You are over. You are over. All right, seems like a decent Legion's End matchup. Noxious Grasp. Destroy some things. Um, Cry the Carnarium's cool. Hawkeye, you're cool too. Um, so they had Bolus' Citadel. So I need to keep an Angrass Rampage and the Bedevils there. Oh yeah, I forgot about Cage because it was off the screen. Yeah, I th yeah, I should have I should have brought in Cage. Yeah, if we lose this, I'll it'll probably be to Citadel and I'll bring in Cage. It was off the screen. I just forgot about the card. Well, I th <laughs> I thought Erasure to away Bullets of Citadel from their hand. So saying that they don't have it. Um, I'm not sure if Bolus's voice reactions are fixed. It, I, I don't think we've ever killed anything yet, and Bolus screamed no after we killed one of our opponent's things. So I think so far so good. Hmm. All right, we need red mana. Yeah, I guess our deck could have Citadel on the sideboard, I suppose. For Esper. I suppose that's something we could have. See, I'm petting Hawkeye in real life and on the screen, too. Double Hawkeye pets. You don't like this this pet thing over here, Storm? You don't like the cat? Yeah, rug life everybody is.
Well, our opponent's on a mold of five, and they're kind of killing us. Just kind of, though. I mean, they have three one ones, and we have a four four. No reason to do anything, Lord. Throughout the multiverse. I have other plans. My schemes are never ending. Alright, I think we're gonna just kinda wait for Chandra to do the wave next turn. And then uh, G G. No. Really? I don't... There we go. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I am omnipotent. Chandra and Nicol Bolas laughing together. More emblems. Hope it's not too hot for you. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Control. Oh, should I do the wave with Bolas? All right, we'll we'll do the wave with Bola. See what happens. No, I was gonna do the wave with Bola. See if it was red, or maybe it was like you know, maybe it was like Bola's cover colored, like you know, like blue and black, like this purplish wave. That would have been cool. All right, final boss time for Grixis Control. Yeah, this deck's, this deck's looking pretty strong. This deck's feeling strong. To be fair, we haven't really been playing against very good decks, to be fair. So that's that's one reason why our ducks looked better. Storm, what's going on? Okay. All right, good. There we go. Thanks, Lord. I just I 
kind of want to mulligan this. No, I'll try keeping. Because this is certainly a risky keep, you know, if we don't draw lands. But, I mean, we have we have two, like, pretty good cards against aggro. We got, like, some good stuff against control. Obviously, you know, having five spells in our opener, our hand's going to look nice. Is this another blue-red deck? <laughs> It's just the the blue red league. All right, so our second time against Phoenix here. Fourth blue red deck. Start ticking up. Get to that eight loyalty. They do have a phoenix there. It's a little risky if I play Nicol Bolas and tick up. Could just ritual of sit away these things. If I go Nicol Bolas tick up though, I could probably sit plus coil next turn. Let's go Bolas. You know, like any any burn spell. <laughs> you have no if they they play three spells plus a burn. You know, one of them being a burn spell, they get to have the phoenix kill the nickel bolus. But then we got thought erasure plus lava coil for next turn, so we're still looking pretty good. Ah, a feeble effort. Yeah, that was the finale of that was a blue finale in their hand. So still the Nickel Bolus drew us a card plus traded with two shocks and the finale. So pretty good. That's obviously getting coiled. And then Soot or Thought Erasure. Do not challenge a raging river. was the card I wanted to Thought Erasure away right there. Alright, so we got the second Crackling Drake out of their hand. 
And Amu is getting even closer to ultimating. That's a little hasty on that lightning strike there. The sky is my domain. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my Is it just me? Or is it getting a little Alright, emblem time. Hey Zerf, going good. Our Chandra Grixis deck. Has been serving up emblems. Like their hotcakes. It's been uh, pretty sweet. So that's what that's basically what what Mu Mu Mu. That's oh, Sky Dancer. There we go. That's definitely what our sky. That's sorry. That's kind of what our Sky Dancer does. Is just slows our opponent down a whole lot. And gives us buys us a lot of time. Put this into the God Eternals. Cage, cage. Cry, cry. No Elder spell. Even though this isn't really the matchup for for Mew, hasn't really been the league for Mew, but she did a good job there. All right, here we go. No, I like I like just kind of ticking up Moo, trying to get to the ultimate, and like force your opponent to spend a lot of resources to deal with her because she just gets too loyalty a turn because that ultimate is pretty backbreaking. Rather than just minusing and making a four four and letting them shock her and. And so on. As we saw there with that, that last game, our opponent just had a bunch of lava coils in hand. I like not not turn them on too much. So we're gonna need. Uh, like we need three more black sources for Nicobolas. So I don't want to play the steam vents. Got it. You don't want to keep playing black sources out. Meditate and prepare. Whiffed. Well then. All right, no Phoenix. So keeping that because it is the black source, we could use more black sources. I'm not sure yet, Project Vanner. I haven't really decided yet. Maybe I'll try resetting and see if that works. Or maybe we go play a few ranked matches.
I'm planning on a 12 hour stream tomorrow. That's my plan right now because planning on arena working a lot better tomorrow also. Which, you know, whether or not that's a, a smart plan is, you know, debatable, but that's kind of our plan. I know it's not ideal that I'm using a Rampage to make them sacrifice the Narset, but I want to do that so we get to actually cast this Discovery. Hmm. We do need another Black Source, but we'll probably draw another Black Source. Definitely don't want that land. Yeah, we'll probably just draw another black land. No. Sulfur Falls is the worst. Keep an open mind. Uh, and then two black lands at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we these five matches we played four is it, Dex. I guess all these people are asking about Arena, is it working? And then all these other people are just taking that too literally. Galdor, you got in? Very nice. Made some rough changes, might just do a straight Azorius Flyers and have Zafara just be like the end game. Still trying to load up on the one to three mana slots. Yeah, I kind of I kind of feel like so far just kind of tough with Oh no, poor opponent Still didn't stack that very well. Turn. Tough with like the angels. I think Safar could be really good in in the in like a spirit shell though. As I was talking about before. Well, what we learned today is Grix's control very good against... Hey, we actually got a, a rare from the new set. Grix's control very good against Is it Piles. We're very good there. All right. Arena is up for everybody now, so we get to reset... And we'll be good to go. Awesome. All right, so our deck felt really good here. This is another one that we'll have to retry this. I think, we, I think we're going to go and just send this over to ranked next time we play this. You know, nothing... We just kind of kept playing the same deck, type of deck over and over. We weren't really challenged at all. So nothing that I want to change right now. But you know how it goes with like these kind of decks is like the metagame changes because you're playing a deck full of answers and you kind of have to uh, mix some numbers around and everything like that. But for now, I liked everything that we had going on here with our Grixis deck. Liked the numbers. Uh, still like trying out some, some more Moo. <laughs> Or Sky Dancer, some more Sky Dancer. Possible Sky Dancer does get cut though, of course, but still trying out some Sky Dancer and, and trying out some Chandra. 
here that can be like a little snapcaster plus also put pressure on with like that zero ability as you know like our three damage or sorry our three mana you know like sideboard threat that like comes in and starts hitting things it's possible i want more chandras in the sideboard you know like that being like the the sideboard plan against control decks like this chandra making one ones and doing damage and then also being able to like minus and recast thought erasures and duresses Plus then this Chandra making emblems to finish finish them off. So we'll kind of see there. Uh, but good little showing here for Grixis Control for our uh, first time playing the deck and everything there. Yeah, Kirtash, I'll, I'll, I'll add that code. Um, all right, so there we go. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like these changes to Grixis Control. If you're trying it out yourself, let me know how it's going. But there we go. That's Grixis Control. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.